1977, Voyager 2 leaves Earth on the greatest expedition ever. With Voyager 1 just behind, twin probes en route for Jupiter. Then, with gravity assist, a change of course for Saturn. Here, their paths diverge, Voyager 1 leaving the planets, Voyager 2 slingshotting onward. How long did it take to get to Uranus? Nine years. And Neptune, three years later in 1989. With gravity assist, Voyager 1 picked up 48,000 kilometers an hour from Jupiter. From Saturn, and an alignment of planets that happens once in 176 years, Voyager 2 sped on to Uranus. Each slingshot infinitesimally slows the planet. Voyager 2 reached Neptune in 12 years. Without gravity assist, it would have been 30. A distance so great, radio signals took over four hours to reach Earth. Gold-plated disks on both Voyagers carry earthly information to the stars. But the craft must speed thousands of years to reach even the nearest star.